It's a quick video on the stock locks use with the Magpul CTR stock. Magpul CTR stock has not only the adjustment lever, but it's also got a locking lever on it. Uh, so the first step is going to be removing the roll pin for the locking lever. We've already done that. Uh, so this is the, the larger roll pin. Drops out of there. And I'm going to have to use this to take the locking lever off since we've already removed remove the roll pins and the spring loaded adjustment pin. So once you remove that roll pin, this pops right off. It gives you access to this other roll pin. You remove that roll pin. When you do, be careful, rotate it down towards the floor or the bench because the spring inside will pop out. It's retained by that roll pin. It will shoot out under pressure. You don't want to shoot yourself in the eye. So that will drop out. It sits in there like this. You remove this cross piece, this drops out. Now you've got a clear channel to use with your stock lock. Once you do put everything in place with your stock lock, the lever, you can simply snap it back into place. It holds fairly, you know, very securely. So you can use it like that. Use your tool in the field if you want to remove it. And do your adjustment, snap it back into place. Um, there is an option that we have come up with because the Magpul and Daniel Defense stocks have an open non-step channel, it makes over tightening a little easier. We recommend you tighten the, the stock lock only to snug and that's more than enough to make sure it's secure and fixed. Um, so to avoid over tightening, which will basically just leave a small mark on the uh, bottom of the peg hole on your buffer tube. It's not going to do any real damage, just a small mark. But to avoid that, we've got a small spacer here that we are now selling as an add-on for uh, these. And all it does is it just helps remind the user, tighten to snug, and then stop. Um, and that's basically it. So same process. Drop the stock lock in. Line up your channel. Drop that. We're also now selling Rigid Design Co's Titanium and Steel Hex 1.0 uh, tools. And we will be selling them with a hex bit, which makes easy, convenient, on the go adjustments possible. We're still selling the uh, stock lock with the regular hex wrench, but this gives you an option, a smaller EDC kind of option. So there, that's more than enough. It's snug, it's fixed, it's not going anywhere. There you go, that's with the CTR tool, uh, the CTR stock. Uh, any other questions, feel free to email us uh, at, uh, at info at rangeworld.com and we'll get back to you with uh, whatever, whatever you need. Thank you.